Daddy said it's not bad to be dead. Yeah, creepy family. You say it's just like going somewhere far, far away. I have nothing to say at this time. Somebody? Is somebody there? You. You don't look like Highland soldiers. Are you survivors? What happened here? It's the work of the Prince Luca Blight. He looted and burned this village just to keep his army entertained. And next he'll... Do you know a man named Victor? He's a mercenary man from near here. I've got no time left, so if you know him, please take me to him. Wait, this girl Plika, she's still crying. There's no time. Drag her if you must, but we have to go. And we're off. But first... Ugh, it's my fault. My power wasn't enough. I couldn't protect this village. So my journey was just a waste of time. Let's fight together. Hmm. So there's still a chance for me to wield my sword? In that case, I'll join you. I want to say that that's a dude, but Hannah isn't a very manly name. Well, you have to admit, she is rather mannish. What's up, dog? Seems you're the only survivor here. Grr. I'ma kill that Luca Blight. And back to the mercenary fort once again. What's this? The woodpeckers have joined forces with the bonbons. It was a wise decision to run away. Bonbons? The countryside isn't safe anymore. This is Victor's Fortress. Let's hurry. Hey, Apple. Long time no see. I thought you would have been a happy little housewife by now. I'm doing research here so I can compile Mathayu's chronicles. Who is this? A friend that Flick and I fought alongside with years ago. You must have heard of General Mathayu of Toran Republic. This is Mathayu's student. How's Mathayu doing? General Mathayu died of his wounds after the war. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Anyway, stay for a while. I'm afraid I can't. Luca Blight has attacked Toto Village. Luca? The Royal Prince? Yes, it was horrible. He looted what he could and then burned everything to the ground. This child is the only survivor. Don't count out that dog as well. He had vengeance in his eyes. Damn, what is he up to? Luca Blight has his eyes set on an invasion of the city-state. This was just a warm-up. This fort is in his way. If he leaves it, he'd be opening himself to an attack from behind when he invades Muse. You're joking. What about the peace treaty? Luca set things up so it looked like the state broke the peace treaty with a surprise attack. Now he's screaming for all citizens of Highland to take revenge for the lives of the young men slain in the attack. So that's how it is. Give me a break. He can't fool anyone with that dog and pony show. Chrono, Joey, good work. We have some important strategy to discuss, but you must be tired. Why don't you go to your quarters and get some rest? Fair enough to me. Chrono. She finally cried herself to sleep. Poor girl. Prano, I just don't know who to feel loyal to. 
I thought that I was a Highlander, and then they hunted us down. But I always thought that someday we could go back to Highland. The Unicorn Brigade Massacre. Captain Rat's betrayal. Toto Village burning down. I just don't know who to trust anymore. You can trust me, Jowie. I know. I know I can. Leona, hey. There you are. Victor's calling for you. What's wrong? You both look so glum. Let's go, Chrono. But, Leona... You can make my day better. And she just teleported, jeez. We need her for battle. Yeah, what do you want? You guys are really slow. You're a fool to go without me. Yeah, but I'd rather have Rikimaru. I'll show you what I'm made of. And then I'm gonna go get some food. Chrono, Joey, I have a favor to ask. I don't know how long this fort is gonna last against Luca Blight, but we've decided to fight. I'm going to Muse to request reinforcements. I'm gonna look for a good place to lay some traps. I'll gather soldiers and weapons. We'll use whatever we can find. But take a look at this. These are called fire spears. They're weapons forged years ago by the dwarves. They shoot fire from their tips. We've got several of these fire spears in the fort's storeroom. They could be very useful, but they're all rusted over. I told you to take care of your toys. Quiet. Anyway, I need them fixed, but only one man can do it. A man who lives near here named Sai of the Divine Spear. Chrono, Jowie, I want you to find Sai. Will you do it? Of course. Really, thanks. I'm counting on you. I got some money together for you to give to Sai. Don't spend it along the way. I got my own money. Didn't you hear about the bandit massacre? 2,000 potch. Sai lives near Ryu Village. He moved into the mountains because he likes privacy. Anyway, go find Sai. We're counting on you. Let's go, Chrono. And Muku Muku and Rikimaru and Nanami and everyone else. Do, 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 do. Ah, damn it. We want to leave the fortress. Not the woodpeckers. Pigeons. Wild boar, huh? We will spare you, because we've already fought three of you guys at once. Not the giant snails. It'd be a shame if we couldn't run away from those guys. Seems the baby bird is still here. Like, Mama, come back. I know I smell like humans now, but I'm still your child. Oh, look at that. Of course I'd have to say something. And they stretch their big ass necks out to hit me. Whatever, slugs. I'll kill you next time. Aha, here we are. It's a man, baby!